I'm Tori Fife. And I'm Sam Blevins. How have you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. 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 In campus news, there's a lot going on here at Chattanooga State. October is advising month here, so be sure to schedule an appointment with your advisor to discuss your options for the spring semester. If you can't find your advisor or you don't have one, contact the Center for Academic Success. Their number is 423-697-4483. Also on Fridays and Saturdays during October, the Chattanooga Zoo offers Boo in the Zoo, Halloween celebration with their many animals. Service hours are available for volunteers as well. This helps uh, the Tennessee Promise students. And for information on volunteering, contact Amanda Mosley at the Chattanooga Zoo. Well, Chattanooga State students were treated to a free lunch yesterday by the SGA and the Student Support Center. The event called Embracing Diversity informed students about the importance of actively engaging with a wide variety of people. Troy Nelson has more. Students at Chattanooga State gathered in room 124 this Wednesday to enjoy a wonderful meal and learn about diversity. The event, dubbed Embracing Diversity, featured instructors Juan Satayana and Maria Spear, who believe simply accepting diversity is not enough. There's a lot of talk out there about accepting diversity, but we think we have to go a step further. Instead of accepting it, we have to embrace it. The idea is for us to recognize that this campus is continuously promoting cross-cultural understanding and awareness and respect and as a result we come here together to discuss the issues that we all face when trying to embrace diversity and making it a very inclusive atmosphere for everyone here. Spear and Santillana hit on several key points including stereotyping, perception checking and ethnocentrism to convince students that embracing diversity is important to their own growth. I feel that sometimes we make assumptions about people it may be stereotypes for example where we feel that we know a culture, but ultimately we may be wrong about it. So the best way to ensure that we can communicate effectively with someone else and not inadvertently offend them or perhaps uh, limit what they really are all about is to ask questions about the other culture. And perception checking is that process, is recognizing that maybe we don't have the answer. And so directly asking questions about the other person and their culture can help us ensure that we are on the right track when trying to understand their culture. We sometimes have the opportunity to choose to just interact with people that are like us, but that is a way to just negate a huge portion of the world to yourself. Because ethnocentrism is the belief that our culture is at the center of the universe. Basically, our culture is the standard. In a sense, it's superior to everyone else. And really, that can be detrimental in achieving effective communication. People that are Colombian, uh, are going to be hugely different between each other, are going to have different values. So um, we should not just content ourselves with identifying someone as a member of a certain culture and think we have that person figured out. We actually should go beyond and try to learn how there's differences in between diversity. The students in attendance were diverse themselves, spanning everywhere from different races to ethnicities and even different age groups. Jamel Shivers and several other students at the event understand more about diversity and its importance. I enjoy being around a group of people that are different from myself so that way I get different ideas, understand different cultures and get a feel about who the people are around me. So, Our culture is more superior than the other, I think, and so... And it's also just getting out of your comfort zone and, you know, it's, it's comfortable to be living in one culture, but um, it's good to, I guess, expose yourself to other people. It helps you understand how other people think and the way that they live and you can just compare your life with theirs and just know that there's other ways of doing things. I learned that it was okay in myself to know that it, I can go out and reach out to different cultures of people. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, you know those... People in every different kind of ethnicity group that don't that say, oh, don't ex go outside of us because it's wrong. Me and the person in the hand, I don't care. I love it. I like the point that Mr. Kwan made about diversity is not just learning about what's different like, between us, but also what's the same. Diversity is a reality of our everyday lives, and Santayana believes is something that won't ever change. Diversity is out there, okay? The only thing that, I mean, the fact that the world is diverse is not going to change. The only thing that can change is our approach towards it. Troy Nelson reporting. Hey, thanks, Troy. Let's go ahead and take a look at this week's weather. We're going to go outside to Jessica Swafford. What's going on, Jessica? Thanks, Tori. 
The weather's been so nice, we just had to get out here. It's been cooler lately with fog in the morning, so be careful when you drive. But otherwise, it's the perfect time of year. The weekend will be a little cooler with highs in the upper 70s, then rain during the middle of the week. Y'all guys have a nice weekend. Well, that's it for today at Chat State. Be sure to check us out online and on the new wall TV monitors in the amphitheater. Have a great day.